Some people wear their heart on their sleeve. Anthony Pettis wears his on his shoulder. That's where Pettis has his father Eugene's portrait tattooed. And every day, the rising UFC star uses his father's memory to motivate him and push him to even greater heights in the octagon. In 2003, Eugene Pettis was tragically killed in a case of random senseless violence, and his devastated teenage son lost all desire to compete in the Taekwondo and boxing classes that had filled his after-school hours. But three years later, he found his way to Duke Rufus's gym in Milwaukee, and a career in mixed martial arts had begun. By 2008, Pettis had compiled an unbeaten record, drawing interest and a phone call from the World Extreme Cage Fighting Organization. Pettis kicked off his WEC career in June of 2009 with a submission of Mike Campbell, but it would be his striking game that drew the most attention, most notably with a 2010 head kick knockout of Danny Castillo. After defeating Castillo, Pettis defeated Alex Karalexis and Shane Roller, setting up a WEC lightweight title fight with Benson Henderson in the organization's final event on December 16, 2010. For four rounds, Pettis and Henderson battled it out on even terms, with the fifth round to decide who would leave with the championship belt. And in that fifth round, Pettis left no doubt on the judges' scorecards as he jumped off the fence and nailed Henderson with a flush kick to the head, a move that will be forever immortalized as the Showtime kick. For weeks after his title-winning effort, sports highlight shows ran Pettis' kick on a nearly endless loop leading to even more anticipation for his UFC debut in June of 2011. Pettis would fall short of victory in that first octagon bout against Clay Guida, though, losing for only the second time in his career. He hasn't lost since. Following the Guida bout, Pettis got back in the win column at UFC 136 in October of 2011, with a decision victory over the always tough Jeremy Stevens. But it was in 2012 that Showtime started living up to his moniker again, as he scored a highlight reel finish of Joe Lozon at UFC 144. Next up was a complete dismantling of fellow WEC alumnus Donald Cowboy Cerrone in January of 2013. And now all that matters is beating Benson Henderson a second time in their UFC 164 rematch, and getting the opportunity to call himself champion once again. Eugene Pettis would be proud of the moves his son Anthony has been making, but as far as Showtime Pettis is concerned, he just started moving.